<laughs> What's going on, my dudes? It's your boy, Daily Productions, here back with some much promised Ravenfield. I promised I'd do more Ravenfield this week, and we're doing it. Gosh dang it. Um, but today, we are doing a D Day beach battle, as you could see from that right there. Oh, oh, she's a beaut. She's a beaut. Oh, this is, uh, this is pretty epic, I gotta say. I can't wait. We haven't had a good Ravenfield D-Day battle in quite some time. And this one is looking schmexy-wexy, to say the least. So we are playing as the Germans, and we just got bunker busted. Holy cow, by by our own teammate with a Panzerwerfer. You're an idiot, sir. <laughs> You're an idiot. Um, yeah, so each spawn point is basically a bunker. Oh god, everyone's getting mowed down. Um, and then the the Americans here are obviously storming the beaches and We are trying to stop them. Oh a nice little triple kill there. Gotta love it um, They also have some tanks and stuff, which is gonna make this a little bit harder ah! Wow, this is, this is very spammy. This is difficult. This is difficult. Um No, no! <laughs> We're getting cream dude We're getting absolutely sauced on wait, maybe we should should change our spawn. Let's do one of the corners. I feel like the corners are gonna be cool. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Hello. Okay. Okay. It's all cool. Long live the Reichstag. Huh. Come on. Yeah. Nice little headshot there. Drop them like you mean it, boys. Victor. What? How do we already win? Okay. That that was silly. Um. <laughs> I guess this is a very short battle. Um, but we can, uh, go ahead and, I don't know, I'll, uh, I'll get us another battle going here, but this time I'll make it a little bit longer. Alright boys, we're doing it again, but this time around, I've swapped us over to the American side of things. Let's go on the left side of the beach. Um, and we also put it a little bit more in the attacker's favor in terms of number of bots. Oh, uh, here we go boys, off the boats, off the boats. Um, and that was simply because, as you could tell last time, we swept as the defenders. Like, to the point where it wasn't even fair, so I felt like we should probably adjust. Look at that, look at these Germans thinking they're cool. A bunch of nerds. A bunch of absolute jabronis. You know what they say? Top cow's always grazing. Oh, I died. <laughs> Major Colt, you son of a Gunderson. You son of a gun! I actually really dig this map. It's very simplistic. Um, but there's something nice about that. A lot of times in D-Day maps, people try and make it, like, a little bit too complex and stuff. And I, I think that sometimes ruins, ruins it a little bit. Um, sometimes you just need a good beach assault with like a little bit of cover and you can have the the perfect battle going oh god one more bullet one more bullet in the chamber and I missed <sighs> I hate to see it look at those big uh, anti-ship guns up there that is crazy that is crazy man imagine the Atlantic wall if it was at full capacity now that would be kind of nuts because the uh, the Germans really did not fortify the Atlantic Wall very well. They peeled off a lot of their units that they had going over there in favor of uh, fighting in like the um, east and stuff like that, as well as they just weren't expecting a landing in that in that area um, all that much. So it, it could be crazy. You know, history could be totally changed if uh, things really changed. We lost. We lost. <laughs> Bruh, roast sausage. <laughs> Alright, I want to keep playing the map because we're not getting a lot of time on it. So I'm going to go adjust the odds again. Alright guys, hopefully this time it works out. We're going to go spawn dead in the middle. Um, let's see if we can get like a nice six minute game here, boys. At the very least, give me, give me six minutes, man. That's all I want. Ooh, nice little snipe there. Little, nice little snippety snipe. Nice. Alright. Toss that down. Toss that down. Give it to me. Ooh, yeah. Love it. Love it, love it. Oh, radical dude. Radical dude just got radical don'ted. I hate myself. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. Oh, yeah. So I actually watched um, Pulp Fiction this weekend. 
For first time ever. I mean, I know it's like a legendary movie. I love Tarantino. I mean, who doesn't love Tarantino? To say you love Tarantino is, is such a stupid statement because everybody likes Tarantino. Um, but yeah, I watched uh, Pulp Fiction for the first time ever. That guy got a nice little shot on me. It was crazy. Oh my god. Like, I've seen um, Inglorious Biesterds. I've seen um, Kill Bill. And I've seen... Um, what's that one? Django Unchained. So I, I, I've seen a few of his movies, and I, I loved every one of them. Um, and so I kind of knew what to expect from Tarantino, you know, like, kind of crazy, stuff like that, but... Wow! I did not imagine this. <laughs> this was twists and turns every few seconds, like, I couldn't keep up. It was literally a fever dream. Like, that movie is absolutely wild, bro. Absolutely wild. And I enjoyed every minute of it. Wow, it was such a, a, an amazing film, truly. I, uh, I get all the hype now, like, you know, it's one of those things where you don't, you don't get what people are talking about until you actually see it, I guess, and, um, now that I've seen it, I get it, it's great, it's a fantastic movie, truly, oh my god, we're actually doing it this time, we're actually doing it, boys, yeah, so I highly recommend it, um, of course, age appropriate, I would definitely, uh, confirm this is rated R content for sure it's very dark and if you're squeamish don't I don't recommend it you know oh that is a baddie oh god more baddies watch out ooh ooh no ooh no <laughs> sad we're actually we're we're closing in on them we're choking them out here um there's really only a couple points left. There's the back point over here, which I think we should l start leading the final assault on. And then there's also a couple of um, bunkers, too. The bunkers I'm not too worried about. It's this final base over here that I think will be the hardest part to, to take over. There we go. Popped him in, in the face. Uh-oh. Okay. Problem with this pistol is, like... It's not exactly the best um, at close range because that reload time is gnarly. Like you got a lot, a lot of time to reload this gun. So I, I don't think it's the best uh, pistol situation out there that we could possibly have. You know? Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh! All right, I think it's time to switch up the weapons. Let's go with the. M1 Grand, and then let's also switch the pistol to a dual M1911. Of course, it's D-Day. We gotta, we gotta toss the M1911 and M1 Grand in there at some point. They're, they're absolutely gnarly classics of World War II video games. Alright. They're coming out here. Oh, they're coming out hard. Ah! Well, we got a few of them before going down. We did do that. We're not even doing that well this game. This game is hard, man. 15 kills, 5 deaths. I mean, we're still in the positive, which is nice, because if we were in the negative while facing against bots, I would definitely feel a little bit of shame and dishonor amongst my family. That would be, um, quite bad, I have to say, if we were losing to bots. I mean, losing to bots is one thing, because I can't control the rest of my team and make sure they're doing well. Um, but actually, like, having a bad KD against bots, that that is rather sad. Um, either way, guys, we flip and did it. The attackers finally got a victory. I mean, given the fact that I literally had to basically ensure that the attackers got a victory here, um, by making the battle much more sided towards the attackers. But, I mean, I guess that's a more realistic portrayal of, uh, history. Lots of times when I do battles in, like, battle simulators, people are like, well, you didn't make it fair to one side. And if I'm, like, doing an accurate battle, like, a historically accurate battle, then it's like, well, yeah, but, you know, history isn't always fair. There's literally, the majority of battles, I would say, history is, in fact, unfair, you know? The one side doesn't have perfectly even odds to the other side. Most of the time, it, it goes in crazy, crazy 
uh, favor to one side or something like that, and one other side doesn't have an opportunity. And the most famous battles tend to be when one side has almost no shot at winning, yet you know, manages to pull through in an epic underdog story, aka like the American Revolution or um, Battle of Stalingrad, things like that. Like that's tends to be like the most famous parts of history. Um, yeah, either way, I wanted to do that little rant, fire off a couple of M1911 shots because that's pretty fun. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Comment and subscribe if you did. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.